unboxing and first look at the Dodotronic Ultramic 384K BLE and its accessories. The Ultramic 384K BLE arrives at you inside a professional art case. It's made of rigid plastic, very sturdy, and it has an effective opening and closing system. Inside the hard case we find an Ultramic 384K BLE ultrasound USB microphone. It's made of area and top caps, made of Delrin and an aluminium tube that contains the microphone circuit board and all its components, so the microphone can withstand drops, bumps or impacts. The microphone is very lightweight because it weighs only 129 grams and it's compact because it's 16 cm long and it has a diameter of 2.54 cm. All these features make it excellent for field work but also for educational purposes. The microphone has a cable 86 cm long, further extendable with a USB extension cable that ends with a USB 2.0 mail. In the case we also find a PTFE membrane that we can insert in the top cap to protect the microphone sensor and make the Ultramic 384K BLE a waterproof IP67 microphone. Finally, in the case we find a directional cone made of Delrin which allows us to convert the Ultramic 384K BLE into a unidirectional microphone. A power bank. Two types of waterproof power banks with a 5 volts USB power converter are available on the Dodotronic website. It's necessary to use the Ultramic 384K BLE as an autonomous recorder. We'll see better this way of using the Ultramic in the next videos. A phone holder to hold your phone and the Ultramic together. It's very useful when you use the Ultramic connected to a smartphone using the battery recorder app. In the next videos I'll show you how to use it. A USB OTG cable necessary to connect the Ultramic with your Android smartphone when using the microphone as an active recorder with the battery recorder app. Now we examine the Ultramic 384K BLE carefully.
Unscrew the rear cap and push the plastic component to disassemble the microphone. There are several components, pickup and the clock battery, a SD card slot where you insert SD card when you use the microphone as an autonomous recorder, three LED lights, they are important when you set the ultra mic as an autonomous recorder, we'll see it. A Bluetooth antenna. It's essential to be able to connect through Bluetooth low energy the microphone with your smartphone using the Dodotronic app to set the ultra mic feed for KBLE when you use it as autonomous recorder. As I said before, I will make a video about this. Push button. You use it to stop recording. When you use the ultra mic as autonomous recorder without programming it. Two switches to set the amplification level of the microphone. As I said before, it's possible to make the ultra mic fit for KBLE completely waterproof IP67 by inserting the PTFE membrane in the top cap. To do this, unscrew the top cap and follow the detailed instruction in the ultra mic fit for KBLE manual available on the Dodotronic website. I use the microphone mainly for bioacoustic monitoring of buds and I prefer not to use the membrane because Dodotronic states in the user guide that the membrane block a part of ultrasonic sounds. In addition, the top cap can be easily replaced with a directional kern to convert the ultra mic fit for KBLE into a unidirectional microphone. In the next videos, I'll show how to use the ultra mic free for KBLE for bioacoustic monitoring of buds, both as an active and a passive recorder.